Well, good morning, folks. It's like 7.30, this beautiful morning, and I am chasing down a Mack truck full of gravel, and I'm not joking. Hey, come back here, truck. I need you. I got eyes on him. I'm tracking him. How's it going? All right, all right. Um, this load's gonna be going back, it's gonna be going on this property, but back this way. You wanna follow me and turn around right here? Go back a little bit. All right, man. Okay. Now, I know you guys remember a few weeks ago on the channel me almost going airborne in this cart right here this buggy almost going on three wheels and flipping over at a certain part of our trail it is like look at look at this crap look at what I'm about to go through here I mean this is so sketchy oh my gosh look at this drop jeez Ever since that day though, I knew we had some work to do on our trails. Wow, he's just going all the way back down there. I told him we could turn around right here in this field. and He was like, nah, nah, I'm gonna drive down the road a couple more miles. That's the kind of service I like right there. They dump the rocks and they gone. That's a heck of a way to start a video, right? Nice little intro right there. Welcome back to another video, folks. Of course, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the property. Mr. Hogg is right there getting uh, eaten by vultures recently. That's kind of messed up, but hey, that's nature. And now we have Mountain of Rocks number one. There are literally vultures fighting in the top of a tree up here. Wish I had my shotgun, I could break up the fight really quick. So we're actually getting two loads of gravel just like that today. We had one of them dumped right there where that guy dumped them because we have this major problem area on the trail right up here. A lot of you folks have been asking me about Delta, the uh, all black German Shepherd that we have for a while out here. Well, just to give you a quick story, because I don't want to go down like the long, sad road. I mean, she's doing just fine. She was a chicken killer from day one. She loved killing chickens. She killed almost 25 of neighbor Daryl's original chickens when I first moved in. It was a big deal. Like it, it had everybody kind of, you know, angry. I was mad at the dogs. Neighbor Daryl was probably mad at me for sure. He didn't know me that well back then either. We ended up having to relocate Delta to a new home. We just could not get her to stop. We tried the invisible fence. We tried so many different things. She just would not stop killing chickens. Needless to say, she's with a different family now without any chickens around and she's doing just fine. Now we have these two mutts who don't kill chickens, but they are equally annoying in other ways. But we still love the heck out of them. Who am I kidding? So starting right here, this trail just gets absolutely blown out sideways. I mean, this is by far, this is one of the worst problem areas I have ever seen on anybody's trail ever. I mean, tr imagine trying to drive through this with your ATV that's not a freaking jacked up Can-Am, you know what I mean? So that first batch of rocks is specifically for this problem area on up the trail some and even down here around the corner to norm's house in the mini pond obviously there are multiple problem areas out here but this one's by far the worst so if you guys were curious how people fix a trail in the woods with gravel and a bunch of dudes you're about to find out truck number two just got here to dump another massive load of gravel we dumped the first load was almost all the way in the front of the property this next load is almost completely in the back right here this is where most of the deer hunting occurs is all this back half of the property meant for As we begin our approach, please make sure that all seats are in the upright position and trains are put away. This part of the trail. So this is like the second major area where erosion has just murdered the trails i mean it's even hard to tell on on camera just how bad some of these trail spots are 
But if you were driving them every day like I do, I mean, it would be very obvious how bad some of this washout is. So yeah, there's two major sections of trail here they're gonna have to get redone in this video just to give us better access to the entire property anytime we want to. That's just gonna lead to more content. All right, folks, so we got the rocks delivered a couple days ago and the crew from BHB actually just pulled up and we are about to fix some trails, boys. Dude, they got the heavy equipment yeah, out today, they boys. They got heavy equipment. Let's freaking go. Brought it all, dude. That's what I like to see. They got what, two dozers? Oh, they got a two dozers and a, a mini excavator too. Yeah, they don't they play no games. Dude. They are not playing games. Guys, we got the crew from BHB out here today. If you don't know who that is, we're gonna talk about them a little bit more later, but one of the best landscaping crews down here in the Southeast, like period, like the Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Tri-State area, they service all over the place. Supposedly, they're gonna really turn this place around, these trails around at least. I can't wait to see it. Oh, they got the little mini tractor. That's the coolest freaking. Yeah, it it's, cool. it's a lawnmower with a, with a bucket on the front of it. That's freaking sick. So sick. Um, so what do you think? I mean, is this like, yeah, this is, cool. is, it, is this fixable? Yeah. That's good. I'll get an excavator down here and it'll drag and smooth it and I'll backtrack it with that thing. Yeah. It'll start moving the rock down. I gotcha. How bad is the turn down there? Um, okay, so, I mean, well, we'll, there's a couple different really problem areas. I mean, from here, in fact, all the way back up to those roots right yeah. there, it's really kind of freaked up. guys the uh, trails are officially done and oh my goodness what a difference all that work makes you guys will remember this is really uh, one of the big problem areas right here look how much smoother it is now Boom! no problem of course down that way is the uh, norm's house and everything and the uh, the pond but I haven't showed you guys the back half of the property where they also improved the trails there as well. Guys, the folks at BHB Groundworks did an amazing job on my trails, so gladly that is all resolved. Now we actually have a functioning highway to and from, you know, Norm's house and the mini pond. We can get in and out of there with no problems. So now we can finally get this house renovation underway. Real windows. Yeah. Oh, that 
That's a good looking trimmed up window right there. <laughs> that really does make it look really efficient. Boom, just like that folks. We've got actual windows here. Glass, apparently it's American Craftsman. I don't know what that means. But we had to call a couple audibles over here because we had previously cut these window holes for screen. That's the idea that Daryl had originally had. But then we, I just decided, well, you know what? Let's just put windows in here. So we'll restain these. That way they're matching the rest of the trim of the house. But hey, we got windows and they are functional. Check it out. Boom, ventilation, got your screen in there. So now we are as bug tight, almost as bug tight as we can be. You guys can tell there's a few, those light spots up on the top right there. We gotta hit those with some foam. We've got a couple things with the door that we're thinking and we have some insulation, potentially insulation situations to make this an insulated building. But yeah, she is pretty bug tight. The only bad thing with insulation, you got a hell of a fucking mice to raise babies in. Really? Because you got that hole in there, space in there. Oh, yeah. And you'll have a you'll have a mouse condominium right there. And this gives them like a perfect place too, because oh, it's yeah. like it's sanctuary. Yeah, I mean, it's out of the weather, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Rats. Stay back. Rats. I mean, yeah, they just never stay there. A tent. You stop thinking about it. Tent ain't got insulation. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Not long. You didn't get late to see yeah, yeah. Next up, though, we were going to run some wiring, going to run some lighting in here, and we're going to put a little window unit right there. We're going to have to cut into the wall. Help us a little bit with temperature control. Guys, uh, we were just down at the camp house, and we just heard a gunshot. <laughs> Neighbor Daryl started calling us. Uh-oh. What do you think? Snake or hog? Snake. It's got to be a snake. Oh, where is he? Oh, there's his buggy. He's on foot. That boy went tracking. Oh shoot, there you are. I was like, where did Daryl go? I've had more flat tires since I started oh. working for you. You got a flat tire? Than I've had my entire life. What happened? I don't know, I was dragging this field. I seen y'all go by, so I was gonna finish dragging, trying to kick some seat up. Or a wop, 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 wop. Oh no. That's three flat tires I've had on this buggy in the last month. It is, yeah, I, it's crazy. And, and I haven't had one, and me and you drive the same places. That's the well, incredible I part. Somewhere. I was, I yeah. was dragging out here. What was the gunshot? Or was that your tire blowing? No, that was get, get y'all attention. Oh. Get hot out here. <laughs> and I was out of bullets. I thought you shot something, man. We yeah. were hightailing it out here. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> I love it when you start a sentence with, I, I'm not an electrician, but. <laughs> yeah, I did figure on this. We're going to put a little round thing here. We're going to put a light on the center of that beam. One somewhere over here, center of this, and then over there. So that way we'll have lights on the tables. So I think what we're going to have to do is run from here to here to there to the light switch. Now, you guys might be wondering why there's air mattresses and stuff laying around. It looks like there was a camping trip out here. Funny story, myself, Ayo, and Norm actually came out here one evening to attempt to film a, a christening of Norm's house in the woods and try to do a camping episode out here. A little bit of a challenge. This is kind of how that went. Hey, Andrew. What's up, man? Yeah. Not much, Daryl brought us food. I We're smell. hooking up number three uh, air mattress. I kind of lost some. Did we get four? How many air mattresses did we get? We get yeah, three or four? four. I, I could have sworn I saw four, I just need to find it. Oh, it's right here. I need to clear this off. Daryl's in. Dude, do you see this? Oh my god. Yeah, that. Hamburger buns. I know we got some more tonight, but that. That's gonna go hard. That's it right there. Yeah. Wow. How's your fire pit coming along back here, buddy? Uh, <laughs> I I made a six by six foot circle. Kind of laid on the ground and did a little leaf angel. Dude, this looks great. This is a perfect little clear spot for a fire pit. I thought it would be perfect. I think it is perfect. You're perfect. I was literally going to say it next. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> what I have in my head, we're going to dig about six inches deep, probably three foot diameter, perfect circle, four chairs, four dudes. I dig it. Yeah? I like it. See Simple. what you did there? I dig it. Yeah? I dig it. Yeah? That joke sucked. <laughs> <laughs> 
Daryl. Come on, man. Yeah, you'd think you'd have something better than that, right? Yeah, you would. I bet it's cute watching him use this shovel, though. Dude, I bet it's adorable. I'm just dropping off uh, the s'more stuff by the fire pit. So I'll put it in the chair over here for you. Also, you have your sour gummy worms in here if you were wondering where those are. Those are in here too, so. What a sweet guy. That's what I was about to say, man. I steal the words from people's minds, so I'll make a living. Yeah? Yeah. I can see that. This is actually pretty cool. That is so cool, man. I'm gonna take this home with me, I, I promise you guys, this challenge is coming home onto my guest bed. That is so cool, dude. Pretty sweet. I can't believe you. $30 can buy that, that's ridiculous. Wow. Gotta make it look all good for you so we can get them shots. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Don't show oh. yeah, I'm Kinda jealous, I'm not gonna lie. Like just hypothetically in a world where uh, you know, years ago where you're not like wiped up or anything. Like imagine a girl comes over and just sees this as your bed cover. What would she say? That, I mean, it's just guaranteed. Probably she trying to say anything. She'd just yeah. get in the bed. Pretty much. She would, uh, she'd never talk to another guy again. I can promise you that much. Dude, this shit is hot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're filming. Totem M4K, baby. Don't put that yeah, in. What's going dude. in, my guy? You don't understand. This is what we do, no. dog. <laughs> All right, folks, we got some things happening here at the camp. I'm going to have to shut some things off because there's a lot of noise coming. We got a little fan down here that we're going to need desperately tonight. But, guys, check this out. Boom. Check out the inside of the camp house here. Got the bunks, air mattresses blown up. I'm not gonna lie, the Pokemon one is clearly the best. But check out the TV boys. We got Netflix booted up, just waiting uh, to see what everybody wants to watch. This is my bed right here. With, I mean, obviously, snack on it. Got the other bed right there. Got a couple lanterns, courtesy of neighbor Daryl. He is the freaking man, if you guys did not know. Um, we were kind of thinking about like trying to do a I'm thinking like a string of Christmas lights or something like all around the inside or something like some permanent lighting. But I even think like neighbor Daryl is talking about maybe wiring this thing that way we can turn on the generator which is running outside and then plug it into like the side of the wall. We can actually have a couple like light switches in here like an inside light, outside light. I mean the whole nine yards. So check out the back here. Got another little light right there. What's up boys? What's, What's up on? man? Good God. That fire is raging. Why y'all over here? We're just hanging out under the cover. Dude, yeah. a piece of that bark almost killed you two. Did y'all hear that hit? Yeah, it hit me in the knee. I, I heard that. It's oh hit my. me twice since we've been doing that, but oh. I just go with it. Dang. Would you like to That's try again? Lie. Yeah. Let's try again. You didn't hit anybody. Oh, yeah, that hit. Did that hit you again? Yeah. Wow, okay. I'm going to go ahead and move. <laughs> That's sick, man. Holy smokes. Got a little fire going. I heard Norm was collecting wood back here. Is that true? Yeah. Dang. You're such a man, dude. What would you know? That's a man's fire right there. Like, that's not... That's some manly not, stuff. <laughs> yeah. We're about to make some manly s'mores here in a minute. <laughs> hey, there's oh, nothing... I'm actually so pumped for that, dude. No, dude, there's nothing wrong with s'mores at all. Daryl's food yeah. and then s'mores as dessert. Oh, my gosh. 100%. Dude, have y'all yeah. been inside with like that fan churning this whole time? Not and, like yet, the no. humidity is disappearing. It's actually not bad in really? there. Like, is, I'm it, not even is it cool enough for me to get under my Pokemon blanket it's, later it's tonight? It's not right this second, but I guarantee you in an hour or two, yes. 100%. 100%. Yeah, so that video you guys just saw snippets from actually never got published on my channel. The night kind of got away from us. We weren't really feeling it. We didn't want to force the content. I ended up axing that video altogether, but that was the funniest parts that you just saw anyway. So I basically did you guys a favor. But that's where all this stuff came from. And I promise you guys there's a new camping episode coming soon where we actually stay out here in camp. All right, guys, real quick, before we proceed in today's video, I have a special word from the video sponsor, Upside. Now, guys, it doesn't matter whether or not we're at the pump watching those numbers go up, 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 or whether we're getting the bill at our favorite local restaurant and noticing those prices are going up. Inflation is affecting every single one of us, and it seems to be getting higher and higher. That's one of the reasons why I started using Upside. Upside is an incredible app for anybody who buys gas, groceries, or eats out. And let's be honest, that's like 
95% of us. I know me, myself personally, I am driving constantly, driving my truck, hauling boats, hauling campers, filling up ATVs. So I use Upside literally every time I get gas. But let me tell you guys, the cash that you earn back from your purchases starts to add up pretty quickly. To get started, it's as easy as downloading the free Upside app on Google Play or the App Store. Then use promo code LOJO and you're gonna get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. That's instant money coming right back into your pocket for downloading a free app and buying stuff you already buy. I know what you guys are thinking, this is kind of too good to be true. Well, guess what? It's not. It's exactly as good as it needs to be to be true. Did I say that right? Once you've downloaded the app, then you're gonna claim the offer to the business that you're about to go to, check in at that business, then pay like you normally would using your credit or debit card, and boom cash back. You can cash out guys anytime to your bank account, PayPal, an Amazon gift card, you name it. Guys, it's 2022. It's the modern day. This is a absolute no brainer. I mean, the fact this is a free app and you instantly get cash back from things that we have to buy basically every single day. I've been using this app for about six months now. And like I said, I use it literally every day. You guys need to hop on the train, download the app. I highly recommend it. Now back to today's video. What you got going on over here, Andrew? Putting up the electrical box, man. So these are the little boxies. I like how you're just the electrician now. Like, <laughs> you did, you, you wired the camper and it worked. So now you're just the guy. You are yeah, the electrician. Yeah, two two. <laughs> I hope so. Nah, this is real powered on, it's just gonna blow up. Right, well the good thing is this is a metal building. I mean, there's a lot of wood, but it's mainly metal, so it shouldn't yeah, burn to the ground. Yeah, it's in track. just like, it'd be hard to completely burn it, you know. Yeah. Hey, but this one, the exact opposite side over here. <laughs> so folks, I hope you uh, kind of gather what we got going on. I mean, now that we got the windows installed and we've kind of sealed this thing up finally, we want to get the lighting system and the window unit hooked up. So we've got some climate control and we can see what's going on, you know? Better get an idea for one. Yeah, I, I, I bring about one or two per project, <laughs> you know? I remember doing that now. Oh, coming back. Hey Daryl, I got some headphones. If you, I got some like big shooting headphones in my buggy. If you want them, that's loudish. Here, let me get you. They're ready to go, <laughs> dude. Guy, I don't know if we left that part in the video, but if we did, that was one of the loudest noises I've ever heard in my life. That was literally like dumping an AR mag inside of a room. It's full of auto right there. And <laughs> Here, there are some shooting, some shooting muffs. Because if you're going to be in here listening to that, <laughs> that. Good. God, yeah, you might have to adjust them a little, but that'll help, help some. You doing all right, Daryl? You good? You good in there? Woo, we were afraid to come in for like <laughs> that whole time. It was so loud in here. Woo, here we go. A little AC hole. There's some light coming in the back door. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> Thank God. Maybe we can turn that AC on today while we're working out here. Uh, that wire up first. We should have put that in first. What were we thinking? Yeah, they're doing the broadcast. Being Andrew ain't been sitting around doing a side job. <laughs> now, what is the J channel out here for again, Daryl? Well, keep water from down through there. Gotcha. Getting inside. Okay. All right, we put these back in. All right, and we can bring the AC in. Hopefully she fits. That's gonna suck if she's short. Oh, she's coming through. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Push it all the way where it's supposed to be. Yeah. You where you're supposed to be. There we go. Face, you get too cold, let me know and I'll, I'll stand in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> He's just joking. Hell yeah, that's exciting. Sick, and with some lights in here too, man? Oh man. TV. With TV, yeah, yeah. power, Wi-Fi. Oh yeah. All right. We just skipped the whole like electricity and lights thing. We just want to put up the TV. All right. Okay. Yeah, you gotta have your priorities straight. Let me put this in my hand. 
messed up. Oh, you're good, buddy. Right? And once we get home, oh, we're pretty much we got a little room right there. Yeah, just, just take our eyeball right out. Look at that TV up on the wall, boy. Holy yeah. sh! It's a little big. Oh, that TV is way too big for this place, but I don't even care. I know you guys have heard it before, but uh, if you're trying to kick the habit, but keep the ritual, baby. If you like the dip and the feeling and everything, but you don't want the nicotine, don't want the tobacco, Black Buffalo Zero, baby. None of that bad stuff in it. Looks and feels like the real thing. Check them out. I'm telling you guys, I've completely kicked my dipping habit. Now I just do the ritual, but uh, not get any of the bad stuff. Pretty dope. Also, if you guys are wondering where to get a good gas cam, I recently learned the Rural King has the best like NASCAR type gas cans. No governmental interference. It's just a, a bucket that you pour over and it comes out. That's what, you know, Rural King had this one, but I would highly recommend this. If you guys hate the government issued cans as much as I hate them. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Patricia, Lucy. Hey, girl. Now we got half the people around here calling this dog Lucy now. She was Patricia. Now she's Lucy. Oh, Charlie's jealous. All right. She she wired. So this is your out your outside. Sure is. Outside. Uh, around it. That's it. Nice. We need some we need some more light in this piece. That is a fact. That is a fact. It's really one of the main things this uh, homestead is missing. I mean, got the TV. Yeah. Got an AC. Just needs some light, some electricity, and some places to plug in. For all those amateurs out there like myself, this is a pretty simple little system here. You got, you got positive, negative, and your ground wire. And that's pretty much how we're doing this, using an extension cord, like a 12 gauge extension cord, and then splitting the wire and using some bought wire to fill in in between. Yeah, so give us a quick rundown, Andrew. So you, you're separating the ground wire, the hot wire, and the and the negative, Neutral, right? right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's that's as simple as this is. That's, simple as that. That's pretty crazy. It's really and, not that hard. And this is just extension cord. 12 gauge extension cord that has those three wires bundled inside. Yep. We're just stripping it, exposing all three wires, and then just hooking it to where we want the power to go. That's right. That's freaking cool, man. Simple as can be. That's cool. Yeah, that's 15 damn minutes. Ooh, what happened? What happened? Ah, your finger. Damn. Ooh. Put some pressure on that bad boy. Dude, I think I have some. Oh my god. Hold on, I think I've got some in my buggy. I do have wire strippers. That's freaking embarrassing. Got Andrew over here cutting his fingers off with a razor blade, and I have wire strippers in my buggy. I don't know if these will work. Let's just see what these things will do. Oh yeah, no, we'll be able to cut it with this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Boom. <coughs> Save a finger there. Well, sorry, Andrew. This information would have been helpful about two minutes ago. Well, anytime you're doing something with a razor blade, man, it's real easy to. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I, as I was doing it, I was like, I shouldn't be doing this. No, it's dangerous. Well, there we go. They're stripped now. I mean, and we got we got these now. So like that third one from the big one. So one, two, three. That one's perfect for those wires. So that is right here. Right, yeah, you won't stop. I might need one. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We'll probably have to wrap it in something too. I got Put some pressure. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. I can this slice right on the tip, right here. Have cost problems with it. Yeah, but you're gonna be working with your hand. I'm gonna start working on the door and the lock and everything. Got her in. Hell yeah. First, you don't succeed, get stubborn. Keep <laughs> get over yourself and figure it out. If it's, if it's hard, good. It's supposed to be. folks check out the uh locking mechanism and the door handle look i know this is ugly as sin but you gotta remember this is norm's house okay crooked tv messed up latch and handle 
I think this is just our, these are the things that make this camp house, Norm's house in the woods so special to begin with. This little lock thing is kind of cool. It's a super simple lock, but man, that thing's, you're not going to get this open. No. You're not going to open this door. The, the door itself weighs 150 pounds of solid metal, or solid wood, excuse me. And then you've got this freaking iron lock. Heck yeah. Dude, this thing has grown so much, man. It was already cool when we first built it. That's the thing. But since then, I feel like we've done, like there hasn't been as much manual labor because you know, building the structure is really the hard manual backbreaking part. But all the little finishing things that we have done over the last two days have really just made this an actual house. Like no longer a shack or a storage shed in the woods. This is a literal house. By the time we're done and this TV's working and we've got Wi-Fi out here and lights. Yeah, it's gonna be unbelievable. And AC. I mean, this is a house. Like, I'm move out here, man. I was about to say, I'm gonna have to keep my eye out, and make sure people aren't just squatting out here or something. You know, it's gonna be squatters yeah, left the lady and right. Had issues, I'll just stay here that night. Dude, it's freaking. You can say that again. Between this and the camper that we just built, like the the dog house, yeah. which is what Holly, my wife, thinks we should call that, the dog house. Like, you get in trouble with your wife, you have to go stay in the dog house. You know, hilarious. which actually kind of looked like a dog house, and dogs kept getting in it the day we were yeah, building it. Spitting. So we got the dog house, we got the camp in the woods. Dude, we're good. If our wives leave us, we are freaking, we we're are good. gooched up. Good. All right. This experiment is about to commence. Okay, so yeah, you can go ahead. Why don't you go ahead and plug her in? Let's just make sure that doesn't blow up. All right, plug it in. in. Woo, I don't know why that scared me so much when you went to plug it in. All right, here we go. Ah! I kept waiting for it to electrocute me. It did not. <gasps> Electricity! Alright, try this one. Oh, let me try the other plug, make sure they're all working. Oh, I'll let's freaking it. go, baby. Try this one. Oh this god, one are you yet. are you sure you can hold yeah, it like yeah. that? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to electrocute you, dog. Let's oh, we're go. freaking good. We're good, baby! We we've, we've got power. Dude, that's oh, sick, that man. Is super sick. Now we don't have to use the generator extension cord. Now we can take this extension cord out and we can just shablammy. There's our light. Dude, that's freaking cool. And now we're one step closer to having this whole thing hardwired so we can just flip on lights on the roof and we're. Yeah. Dude, that's so exciting. Hell yeah, man. Good job, Andrew. Thanks. Certified electrician now. All right. So now you're continuing the power. Right. Yeah, we, we tested the power up to the point where you are. Now we are extending it, daisy chaining it, if you will, on right. to which cord are you going to next? I'm going Where is to it going? This one right here. So that's going it's to our switch. The power to the plug. Yep. Okay. And which then, will then electrify both plugs in theory, right? right? And then these go to the lights. And then so this one goes outside, and this one goes to these. The white one that's right here. There's gonna be a black and a white coming off this this black. Mm -hmm. This is hot. Oh, yeah. they're, they're, they're the same wire. Like these wires are the exact same. They're right. Doing different things. So that's why they're shrouded differently. Sure. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, the it, the guts of the wire is the same gauge and everything. Yeah. And Are you gonna put a light bulb in that thing? Up there? Mm -hmm. I will put a light bulb in there. Oh, I saved it. That's Gucci gang. None of the wires are touching. Okay. So, all right, we're doing a test on the outside light here that we just put up. All right, so, so we just need to plug it in, right? On, let's freaking go, baby. He had to do kind of a different ground job than we originally wanted to with the ground wire, but as you guys can see, that worked. We tested both of these outlets, they work. Now we just gotta install a switch system here, that way we can get inside lights on and off and outside on and off, but this is really freaking coming together, man. Can you imagine just pulling up down the trail late at night, you know, you got the little little light on, you the know? The motion lights come on. Yeah, the motion lights. Oh yeah, you guys don't even know about that. We're putting, what do you call those? The outside lights, the spot floodlights? Yeah, floodlights. Putting some uh, motion sensor floodlights on all the corners, so we're gonna have a ton of illumination out here yeah. in Alabama in August. Sure don't feel too bad. All right, main line number two is ready. She's ran. So guys, this is gonna be main line number two. Main line number one goes into that box right there that then wires to all the internal 
lights and the external lights. Main line number two is another 12 foot or 12 gauge extension cord that goes out to the same source of power, but it's gonna go directly in there for the AC unit basically, which is right here. And the TV probably as well, cause it's just sitting right there. But the AC draw is the most electrical current out of any other thing that's gonna be plugged in in this, in this house. Yeah, that's the reasoning for the second main wire. We got some lights that are working. Damn, already? Well, we tested them. We haven't uh, got switches or anything, but. Uh, I'm still working on the switch. Hey, Andrew got in here since he cut his thumb. Right. Oh, yeah. That got him fired up. <coughs> so. We got a freaking science experiment going on right here. Uh, there's a lot going on. But now it's the easy part. Just go white to white to white. Yeah. Ground to ground to ground. ground. Like, test, test them. Yeah, we'll definitely test them. Yeah. Good. Test them and mount them. All right. Got one more wire nut, and we're gonna test out this switch for the outside light. It's the first time ever doing a switch. This is just to test the outside light. Right. Okay. You come in with your plug in, not in the switch. Or at least I'll make sure we don't have a fire right here at the bottom. Right. Yeah, I'll stay right by the plug. That way, if you tell me, I'll yank it out. All right, I'm about to put it in. In. All right. Yay! First time. So we know, okay, so we know it's right because if this switch works and that switch is off, that means you wired it correctly. Right. Because now we are still transmitting the hot wire to the second switch without that one being engaged. Right. So yeah, so you you did it right, apparently. Let's go, nice, dude. dude. You're freaking killing the electricity game, man. And it come with a wake up, yeah. and I used to keep them, buddy. I probably, I probably got some of them growing. Plug in which one? The main hot one? Okay, we're doing some testing. All right, she's in. All right. Libby, I'm let's, let Andrew uh, throw yeah. the, the switch. Oh, which one are you going to do first, inside or outside? Do outside first. Make sure it's still good. All right. All right. No. Nope, good. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you see it blasting off my face. Oh! No. Dang it. Okay, right. but, this had, but this had power, though, right? Well, we yeah. never tested this one. Either I'm disconnected here or I'm disconnected there. And one of those ones that you had Before trouble you, with, maybe? Store your stick finger and uh, plug it for the generator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good you'll point. Learn, you'll learn a little bit of electricity. Woo, I don't want to learn that. Unplugged. I was about to say, I mean, I can go out there and I'll plug and unplug as we need to to test. You want to do our test while it's, everything's out and free? And I have seen bad switches, too. Yeah, see, we followed the power, so we know the power is good. That outlet, that outlet, then we yeah. ran it from there to here. Oh, we know the power made it. We dropped one. I got it. Yeah. You fix it? Yeah, baby. Potentially. Good. Good. We're gonna try it like this. Okay. All right. This is gonna be the. This is gonna be the one. No. Son of a. So that one still works. So you know you got power in this box. Andrew, uh, yep. you said you had to jump. I'm just trying to understand, the power is coming from, the power is getting to this one, but not that one? Somehow, yeah. Somehow. But it's daisy chained together, so it might be a bad switch. Yeah. Could be. Oh, we've, oh, we've lost all of our power? Oh, oh there it is. It flicks, you got a loose connection. Yeah. Just, okay. All right, yeah, just, don't unplug it really quick. I think I've... Yeah. Unplugged, yeah. you good? Unless we, view, unless we blew a fuse in the, uh, in the generator. I think that's possible. If it's, if it's hooked up wrong, it will blow a fuse. That's what I'm thinking. Because now, now it won't come on at all. So. Oh, we got a light. Yeah? That light ain't on. Mother Now this could be the switch now. It very well could be the switch. Plug in right okay. there. Okay. Well, all right. Is all that good? All right. Let's see if we got power back. Sure do. Yeah. And the power's running from there to there. That's what I can't figure out. How is that switch getting power, but this one can't? We should get another switch. Yeah. Let's swap switches. Ah, uh, yeah, good idea. Yeah. Let's see if it's a switch. Right on. Yeah. Yep, that's a good switch. Really? Yep. So something is just... It's gotta be up there, then. You know, that could be. And I'm wondering with now, with this wire, if these wires are touching or something, it's short. Oh, we don't have, we don't have it all. right. It's not all completed. Oh, yeah, dude, why don't you... Yeah, Wait, yeah, those are definitely touching. Yeah, let me yeah that's the problem. Right Some of them are touching right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll unplug it real quick and I'll spread everything out. That's a that's a good observation, Daryl. Yeah. 
because they were definitely, a couple of these wires were pretty damn close. I don't know if, yeah, they were touching. These were definitely touching. <laughs> Shake the light bulb, Yeah, seriously. That's son of a Oh my God. Doing all this and it's, it's the light bulb. Well, we'll try that next. Once here, you let's, look at, let's look at that light bulb up right here. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't the bowling. We're eliminating one at a time. I feel like I'm on right now. You have Google. Oh! Came on? Let's go, baby. What, what Let's do you think go, it, Brandon. What do you think it was? I think maybe when I put those wires together, they were kind of touching. Like maybe there's some bare wire that I'm not Right. I think they, they were touching like right Outside right. lights. Yeah. Inside lights. Ha ha! Well, at least it ain't oh, there, because that's. Yeah. I, that right there, I never could figure out. Wow. All right. All right. Well, we know not to get the wires touched. All right. All right. Well, the rest of these are wired up, Andrew. They're freaking like they're just waiting for a young electrician to come. Unplug yourself. Come by. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> it's gonna happen. I can see, especially when you get hot. Yeah. Slimy. All right. Give it one final test now that it's on covered wire. Yeah, I'd like to see how it looks too without this light on. I'd like to see kind of what the lighting is gonna look like, you know. Put them all in there, let's see. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get the door. All right. Oh, oh man, that's yeah. going, man, that's gonna be like daylight in here yeah, when it, with all three. More? Oh man, oh dude, look at this, it's perfect. It's actually the perfect shade too. It's gonna, it's like not that bright white light and it's not that real yellow sunlight, it's real light yellow. Oh man, that's gonna be perfect dude. That is stinking cool, man. Yeah, it is. Uh, light switches and power, just like that. All right, here we go. Oh, let's go. let's go. Three lights, baby. Dude, look at this. That's man. perfect. This is, that is perfect. That's the perfect amount of lighting for this room. Let's go, dude. Dude, light switch, man. Then the outside switch as well. Damn. Damn. I'm home. Honey, I'm home. Dang. Dang. All right, we're going to do a little experiment here with Timmy. It's your daughter's pet frog. <laughs> don't be telling my business like that, man. I don't know what this guy's name is. He's got some air holes. Not that it matters, because he's about to be sacrificed to the <laughs> mighty Timmy. Maybe. I, that's the thing. We never fed Timmy, like, on the spot before. You know, oh, I, really? I've put different, like, fish in here and just let him eat and let him eat them on his leisure, but I've never, like, tried to actively feed him. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do a little experiment here. See how he reacts to a tree frog? I think so. <laughs> Sounds good to me. we got to find him first. got to know where he is. So I can kind of, oh, he's back against, dude, he is related back to that spot. He loves that spot. He's, he sat there like the first few days when we put him in here. All right, so Timmy's back there. I see him. Get me get All right, I'm just gonna kind of toss this frog. Where, should I toss it at Timmy or should just like near him? You yeah, know what just I mean? put it in the center. Just put it in the middle. I just don't want him to not even realize there's a frog in there now. All right, y'all ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if he's ready to eat on camera. Oh, oh, dude, Jimmy. he murdered dude, that. That was awesome, bro. dude. That was so cool. Guys, this is the first time we've ever tried to do that with Timmy the bass. That was nuts. That was sick, dude. He <laughs> immediately cool. attacked. That was and he, cool. he missed him, and then he got him again. I'm kind of like, that kind of blows my mind. because I was. Awesome. I, I halfway expected he would do nothing and he would just swim. The frog would get away. Oh, dude, that was really cool. Y'all want to find some more frogs yes, or what? Yes, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're going to do like a whole feeding uh, part of a video here soon. So just stay tuned for that. Did you paint? All right, dude, so we've been renovating, you know, Norm's house and everything. We've done a ton of stuff. I want to see how many things you noticed. So I'm All not right. going to like, 
I'm not gonna tell you everything. I just want you, I want you to walk in and just really see, honestly. Before we go in. Some lighting systems. Lighting systems. Yeah, we got external lights on basically all the corners. There's one in there too. They don't, obviously they come on at dusk, so they're not on right now, but what else, what else you notice in there, bro? Uh, windows, for windows, sure. Windows, yeah. Actual windows, operational. Dude, it looks good, man. I thought you were gonna hit me with the old freedom flag. I thought you were gonna say something about that. We know how he feels about veterans, so. My shirt. Anyways, please be my guest. I want you to go in. Let and me see what you've done. Uh oh. <laughs> and... Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, let me flip on the lights for you, buddy. Oh. Let me flip wow. on the lights. <laughs> no, you did not. You mounted an air conditioner? You feel how cool it is in here, buddy? It's very cool. And we just turned it on, buddy. Dude, that's kind of ridiculous. Is this not amazing, dude? We got power in here, we've got lights, we've got indoor the, turf. Indoor sports athletic turf for sprints and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, dude. You know? That lateral movement could be popping in here. Dude, it's outlets, man. Yeah. Actual functioning outlets. Prove yeah. it. Well, you need to charge your phone or something? Get you a USB plug right there. Really? Yeah. Do you have one in your pocket? No, I no. don't. Well, I mean, this, I mean, this one is plugged into this, so obviously there is Do you have Wi-Fi out here? With that, yes, yes, yes. And it's for, it's worked. Yes, this, it works with this TV, so the TV's a smart TV. The thing is, like, with a project like this, it never is done. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many things you could do to a camp house like this that it's literally never ending because I, I want to insulate it maybe one day, like, when it gets cold. Mm. I want to like build a desk in the corner to where you could have like a laptop and stuff. That'd like be a, cool. Yeah. Um, I want to like figure out some type of storage in here too. I mean, Maybe there's a there's mini fridge. Oh, Andrew's yeah. already got it. Yeah, already got it. Okay. He's got a mini fridge. Yeah, dude. But at that point, maybe propane grill. I mean, what else? Come on. What literally? What else could you possibly need? Yeah, dude. Know. I was gonna say you got to lay it. This is my bed right here. So okay. check it out. I want you to lay on down there and tell me. What is this? Kind of looks like. Tears of sorrow. I think you just sweated on that. I don't know. Not just off you. No, it's more like yeah. tears. Get yourself comfortable, man. And tell me with this TV and being in the middle of the woods that this is not. Just Dude, why? Wow, yeah, <laughs> it does feel nice. Paradise. I don't even feel like I'm filming a YouTube video right now. I feel like I'm just chilling. I'm really happy with how everything turned out. Yo. Dude, Andrew wired just about 90 to 95% of this stuff. And the only 5% was like me, like splicing wires for him. Really? So he could do it. Yeah. Jack of all trades That's kind right. of guy, huh? Yeah. Yep. So you're going to insulate, so you're going to put paneling, insulate everything? I think I'm going to bring somebody in to do that spray insulation, uh -huh. maybe. Because there's not anything, like there's nothing to take out of here. You just take out the rugs, take out the mattresses, and somebody can unmount the TV, which comes right off. And you can have somebody come in with that thing and just spray it everywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's kind of what we're thinking. We're not sure yet. But other than that, I literally don't know what else you could add to no. make it better I mean, at this point. point. All right guys, well, I guess I can wrap the video right here. Had a great time renovating the cabin, and like I said in the video, this is not the last renovation we're gonna do. I am 100% sure that we are gonna add more cool stuff to this camp house, norm house, as we go along. So I hope you guys are subscribing to the channel and enabling bell notifications. Make sure you're smashing that thumbs up button. As always, it's the best way to support the channel or visit GuggenSquad.com and participate in that huge giveaway that we got going on right now. Every $5 spent is one entry to win that brand new truck that I've been driving around. And I want one of you guys to have it desperately. And as always, use code LOJO, save 10% on your order. Big shout out to AO for coming and participating in this and kind of checking it out. He was really happy with it. I know he wants to come out here and do a little camping as well. Norm's gonna love it when he sees it, which is gonna be really soon. Thank you guys so much for all the kind words. You guys have been so supportive on these build videos. I know it's kind of outside of what I normally do on YouTube. I've been a fisherman forever but we've been doing some really unique stuff on the channel and we've been getting so much support from you guys. So I just wanna say a genuine thank you from the bottom of my heart um, for all the support and all the ideas that are just pouring in for us to do on the property. And I'm gonna try to do as many of them as humanly possible. As always guys, stay tuned. I love you. Thank you for watching. I'm out.